especially when I was driving, I, not sure, I wasn't able, to, uh, my judgment was starting to go. I would be driving down the road and I, I used to be able to drive between the lines. I wasn't one of those people that ever crossed them. But all of a sudden I was make, I misjudged a turn or, and I would either take it too tight or way too wide. And I had a few close calls and that was another reason to, for the driving to stop. When I was still able to drive, I would be able to, to I, I seemed like one day I could go to places, my clients' places that I was always going to, no problem. Then the next day I'd get halfway there and, th and I'd take a right turn and I'd be really lost and I'd end up going, okay, I think I know this street. I'm gonna go down here and turn. And then I'd get mislaid again and I'd have to wait till I could pull off to you know a garage or a gas station or parking lot of some kind and figure out where I was. So a lot of the times towards the end when I was working, I would leave an hour to an hour and a half early just to make sure I would get there on time. And then, you know, it just, I was getting so frustrated with driving and my memory and everything like that, that I just, I had to stop. And that was mostly when I stopped working. I, I still had my car for a year, but I was afraid to go out all the time of where I was going to end up. If it was somewhere familiar, like around my neighborhood, to go to the grocery store, which I knew was up one block, down one block, and <laughs> there I was. But if not new places, I didn't go. So I officially became a bus person. <laughs> I walk every day, and when I'm walking, I if I'm going for the first time on a new route, I always try to have somebody with me when I'm walking, so just so I can get familiar with it and get used to the street sign names. But what I what really saves me a lot is the GPS on my phone. Or if it's dark and I just call my daughter up on my phone and I go, I'm at such and such a place and I can't figure out how to get back home. And she'll turn her phone on and she uh, has the uh, locate me button and she looks where I, to make sure I'm really where I think I am <laughs> and walk me back home.